Those of you that know me well know that I kind of like preamps and in particular 5532s and I've shown countless of them with various degrees of success some are pretty dreadful not because of the chip because the chip is the chip and providing you give it the right conditions it will give first class results but they come in lots of different disguises. There's the very basic one which I'm using on my current uh, L15 integrated amplifier project which is just basically the chip with support components and there's other ones that have power supplies built in. In other words you just feed AC into it and it's got all the regulation and smoothing and everything like that. And then there's the further advance from that that's complete with volume pot usually a 50k log which is exactly what this circuit needs now some of the other ones that I, that I have reviewed in the past use a single rail which usually means well always means you have to capacitively couple it because the rail is at half volts so the ideal one will be a DC coupled one that's fed from a split plus 15 volts and minus 15 volts. And that leads me to this little kit. Now I thought I was buying this, but that's not what I was sent. And I thought, well, OK, it's it's more or less the same thing. It hasn't got a 5532, in fact it's got a 4580 in it. Well it did have. I haven't done conclusive tests to prove, to prove if that's better or worse than the 5532. Anyway, I bought this kit and when I got it instantly I could see it was different and I didn't like it as much because as you can see from the original kit the chip is in the middle and it's also got cup, uh, capacitive decoupling, you know, small uh, low value um, poly caps. Whereas the new version uses different regulators, way too big for the, the job, which in itself isn't an issue, but it doesn't have those decoupling caps and the chip itself is placed right in between the socketry and the volume pot. Now, as I wanted to fit a, a socket on this so I can change chips readily, they are an absolute swine to get in that socket because you can't get leverage on it and my fingers are too big to sensibly get in there so I've had enormous problems getting the chip in the socket. Anyway, that's not the purpose of this video. The purpose of this video is to explain some problems I've had with this board. It took me approximately 15 minutes to build this little project and I didn't have any plans of showing it on YouTube because you've seen them countless times. The only claim to fame is this one is complete AC in and it has a volume pot, which is makes construction or integrating it into one of your projects absolutely bees knees. It should be easy peasy peasy. But this one is absolutely filled with issues. Now you can see here I've highlighted the bridge rectifier. Now it didn't come like that. It came with one of those little four pin um, bridge rectifiers which you can see it marked under there. Now when I first connected it up I did the usual things of measuring everything or measure everything that I could measure and I didn't measure the bridge rectifier because in all honesty I've never had one fail. Big mistake. Anyway when I connected it all up to my absolute amazement it didn't work and I thought well there's, there's nothing here there's four capacitors 
two regulators, a bridge rectifier, four resistors and the chip. How can that not work? But OK, prodding around, I found the bridge rectifier open circuit on not one but two of the diodes feeding this supply. Now, OK, I hadn't got any of those bridge rectifiers, so I've made my own little bodge one up basically just to get it working and the next issue was this regulator now obviously you can see that's how it's supposed to be mounted and the original one was mounted there but whereas this one regulates at 15 volts plus or minus i can't remember which way around now this one was supposed to regulate in the opposite and it did regulate, but only at five volts. And I knew it was labeled correctly because that's obviously you need to read what's on it. Uh, this is not the original one, by the way. Um, I don't think I've got the original one. I think I threw it out the window in a temper. <laughs> well, you get so cross, don't you? Well, I do. Um, so I bodged this one on the back, which was a second hand one, and I've now got plus and minus 15 volts, which is perfect, but it still doesn't work. When you connect it up to the power and signal, you get a brief burst of oscillation and then just noise. It doesn't actually amplify at all on either channel. So I thought, ah, oh, chip's faulty. So I, I, I've got the chip here. Is that the chip? Or is that the 5532? I don't know, I can't see it. Um, but it's another one which I got out to put in its place. And to my amazement, it still doesn't work. As per usual, I go around with my magnifying glass, test meter to make sure there's no shorts, I cannot make this thing work. We've now, I've done, the chip is missing by the way now because I've hacked it out. In fact, I've replaced all the components on here with the exception of these four electrolytics which I've tested. They've got the correct voltage. There's about 19 volts plus or minus on these two, which are the first two. And then after the regulator, you've got plus or minus 15. So the fact that I've got the right voltages shows that these electrolytics are working correctly. So I put a new chip in there and exactly the same. The next stage was to get my test meter and see that there's the correct voltages actually on the pins of the chip and there was. I checked that it's drawing the right current about 8 milliamps per rail which again is correct but it will not amplify. Uh, and I got to the stage where I tested the resistors. Um, it was hard to test them in circuit, so I actually clipped, because by now I've realized there's so many things wrong with this board. To make it neat and tidy and get it working again doesn't justify trying to do so, because the whole thing was only $7. Anyway, so I clipped the resistors and these are 15Ks. I had to make them up because I, of all the resistors I've got, I don't have any 15Ks for some reason. So there's the bodge. Even though I measured them on the other the, the, the ones that are there, they're not connected, I should say, at this stage. Even though I measured them and they are the correct values, I even made sure that I'd put them in the right place, i.e. that's supposed to be a 15k, that's a 2.2 or, or whatever it was. Um, not only did I remove them, I actually replaced them because I don't honestly know what else to do. I'm giving the chip the right voltage, the, the, the inputs are here, both channels don't work. Um, I even checked the resistance of the volume pot and because that goes right on the input so there really can't be much wrong with that anyway if, as I'm sure you can appreciate. So I, I'm showing you this because it's going to go in the bin in a minute. I'm going to salvage 
one or two of the parts. But I honestly don't know what else to do because I've checked or and replaced everything. I don't know what else to do. Now, I'm not going to tell you where I bought this from because the company, I complained to them that uh, the chip, the, the um, uh, regulator was wrong, was a 5 volt one, even though it was labelled as 15, and that part of the bridge wasn't working. So that's two components out of about eight that are faulty. And I said, I want my money back. And the fact that they've actually supplied me something which I didn't order. And the one they sent me is supposed to be an upgraded version. And half the components don't work. So I said, I want my money back. And they appealed to me to say, please don't mention the, their name, it's, as it's their services priority and things like that. And I actually believe them because obviously they're just a retailer of these products. They don't, they don't know what's inside the packet. So anyway, I'm not going to tell you where they came from, but if you're going to buy one of these, th there must be something obviously wrong, but I, it, I cannot find it. And I don't really want to spend any more of my life trying to make this thing work. As embarrassing it is to admit that I can't make it work. I mean, a, a more simple circuit. Anyway, so that, that's the end of that.